Scanning into Artec Studio 14 is easy. Today we'll be scanning using the Artec EVA. As you scan, keep an eye on the distance meter to maintain the optimum distance for capturing data. For the Artec EVA, the standoff distance is about one meter. Try to keep the capture waveform in the center of the distance meter. While scanning, the model color will also indicate the optimum distance for data capture. If the model turns blue, you're too far away. If the model turns orange or red, you're too close. The green colored model means you're capturing data at the optimum distance for the scanner. Troubleshooting lost tracking. If you move the scanner too quickly, you'll hear a beep and Artec Studio will show a prompt letting you know that you've lost tracking. Try to scan at a slow, steady rate. Aligning multiple scans. Your individual scans will appear as layers in the right column, just like layers in Photoshop. And just like Photoshop, you can toggle the visibility of your scans by clicking the eye icon next to each scan layer. Toggle your layers to check each scan for misaligned frames. Scans containing misaligned frames can usually be fixed by running the Global Registration Algorithm. You can also manually fix misaligned scans by double-clicking the scan and deleting the misaligned keyframes. Once you've removed all the unwanted keyframes, click Back to Scans to collapse the scan back to its normal view. To align multiple scans of the same model, make sure all the layers you want to align are toggled to visible. Layers from different scans will appear skewed or misaligned at first. To fix this, select the Align tool. The first model listed is marked as registered by default. Click each of the layers below to make them visible for alignment. Registered and aligned scans are marked with a purple dot. Unaligned scans are marked with a green dot. Hold Shift and use the mouse to move unregistered models independently. Separate your models so that you can see well enough to pick matching points for alignment. Select at least three corresponding points between the models. Avoid picking points along the same plane as shown here, as this can cause misalignment. Add additional points along another plane of the model to help triangulate the geometry of your model for proper alignment. Fusing your model into a final mesh. Collect and align all the scan data required for your final render. Run the global registration algorithm one final time to fine-tune your alignment. You can adjust the parameters of your fusion method such as resolution and desired hole filling method. Click apply and run the sharp fusion algorithm. This will fuse the working scans into a single mesh. You can address holes automatically at the end of the Sharp Fusion algorithm, or you can address them manually later using the Fix Holes tool, which includes other useful tools such as Autofill Holes, Smooth Edges, and Build Bridges. Adding texture to your model is easy. Once you have a fused mesh, select the Texture tool. Highlight the model you wish to texture, as well as the scans you align to create the mesh. Select additional texture options, such as glare reduction, texture normalization, and resolution, then click Apply. Under the Editor tab, you will find a few additional tools that can help you clean up your model. Such as the Smoothing Brush,
and the D feature brush, both of which can help you deal with inconsistencies and flaws in your data. Once you're finished with your project, you will need to export your model. Make sure the model you wish to export is the only layer visible. Then click File, Export, Meshes. You can export in a number of different file formats. Select the desired file format from the drop-down, give your model a name, and click Save. You can now find a copy of your model in the save location. Thanks for watching this brief starter video on Artec Studio 14. For more information about 3D scanners, software, and services, subscribe to our channel or visit us at www.digitalscan3d.com.